Hey, it's Pastor Mitch here, man. Listen, I just wanted to stop and say happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you watching this right now. I trust and believe that you are, are, are somewhere with family, somewhere with loved ones, somewhere giving God thanks. I want to leave you this message. I know that usually the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, these types of holidays can some what be uh, discouraging for uh, some of us who have maybe lost loved ones and, and you've got to sit across that empty table uh, and see that empty chair someone once sat in. All of the nuances that we go through because we lost someone. I wanted to say, don't be discouraged. I don't, wa I don't want you to be disappointed. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to walk around with an attitude of thanksgiving. It is important that we are grateful in this season. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to be grateful for. You're alive, you're here. You're able to walk through life and to get through situations. God is with you. I wanted to share with you, there's a passage of scripture in the book of First Thessalonians. It says, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God unto Christ Jesus. I want you to know that in everything, in everything, losses, gains, ups, downs, highs, lows, in all circumstances, the scripture tells us, 1 Thessalonians 5, it tells us to give thanks in all circumstances. I need you to say that with me, give thanks in all circumstances. I will give thanks in all circumstances. It is important that you remember that in this season because even when you are, are faced with something, you're faced with some level of, of challenge that you feel that is in, impossible for you to get through, I want you to get on your knees. I want you to stand up tall. I want you to lift those hands. I want you to clap those hands and I want you to begin to praise God and give thanks in all circumstances. I want you to know that usually when tests and distractions try to come your way, typically it is the enemy trying to deter you and to distract you from giving God praise. I want you to know that he inhabits the praises. In other words, he dwells where your presence, where your praise is. He dwells where your thanks is. He dwells in that space, in that moment. And I don't know about you, but in this season of my life, I need Jesus to dwell everywhere I am in every circumstance that I am dealing with. I need him to dwell. So I want you to just right now where you are, just begin to give thanks. If you're with your family, if you're with your loved ones, if you're sitting by yourself, you are not alone. If you're sitting in a room, if you're sitting in a house, you are not alone. Remember that God is with you. I want you to stop what you're doing, lift those hands and just give thanks. Just give thanks. Give them thanks for life. Give them thanks for, for strength. Give them thanks for, for being able to breathe and, and, and do the things that you're able to do. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this, I want you to know, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. I want you to know that there's another passage of scripture in, in, in 1 Chronicles. It says, it says simply that, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his steadfast love, his steadfast mercy, his steadfast favor, his steadfast adoration for you. It says it dwells, it endures forever. I need you to understand the last part of that scripture. For his love is good and it endures forever. Keep that with you. Take that with you. Walk, walk tall. And I want you to understand, trust me, anyone that knows about losses and gains is someone standing here talking to you right now. I know something about it. So I'm qualified to tell you that the most blessed thing you can do is to give thanks. The Bible says it's blessed to give than to receive. Give thanks right now. Stop what you're doing while you're looking at this. Play it back tomorrow. Play it back during the Christmas holidays. Whatever you have to do, I want you to keep this with you. Put it in your heart, engraft it in your heart, walk around with it because I know for a fact that we are uh, able to be discouraged. We're able to, to be disappointed and to be hurt and angry. But I want you to know that even with that, you can give thanks.
in all things, in all circumstances. Give thanks. Why? Because this is the will of God. I got to go. I'm getting ready to go get some turkey. I'm getting ready to go get something. I'm getting ready to go celebrate God. But I just dropped by to tell everybody from my wife and me, happy Thanksgiving. This is a time to give thanks. This is a time to celebrate. You're here. You made it. You're alive. Give thanks for this is the will of God. Happy Thanksgiving from Word of God Fellowship. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Give thanks.